Hi everyone, it's Jen from Creative Housewives and today I'm going to show you how to take an image that has multiple colors and upload it into Design Space. I'm going to show you how to do this using only Design Space, not having to use any different like SVG converters or anything. And I'm just going to take a picture that I found online. So I'm going to select upload. Here I'm on my canvas starting a new project. I'm going to select upload. I'm going to select from my photo library. It's the most recent picture I have here. So we can go ahead and select this. And as you can see, this is an Among Us image. My kids are obsessed with Among Us right now. But um, when I click on this, if I look at my preview up here in the upper corner, it's just one black square. So right now, what my um, program thinks is happening is that this entire picture is what I want to cut out. So the way to do this for a project with multiple colors is to do it in multiple steps. There are SVG converters. There are different programs and stuff that you can use. I'm going to show you how to do it all completely within Design Space. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the Remove tool from the bottom left here. And then I am going to click the white background. You can see already I have a much cleaner image here up in my preview. So if I click on this, you can see it's just the inside of the D and the inside of the A. I am using an iPhone to do this. I think that iPhones are the easiest way to upload an image like this because of the tools that you'll see next. All right, so what I'm going to do right now is because this image has this black outline around the little, I don't even know what they're called because I've never played the game, the little person. I'm going to just go ahead and leave this as it is. So if I click, if I click my preview, you can see those my edges like aren't very smooth, like they're pretty jagged. But if I come up here and I hit next, on an iPhone, you have a despeckle and a smooth option. These are so nice when you're doing um, uploading images like this. So if you look, you can see already it has cleaned up those edges for me. So they look so much better. You can continue to hit smooth or despeckle and or despeckle and do more, but this is great for this project. So now I'm going to hit next. I'm going to save this as a cut image and I'm going to save this as kind of sus one. So that's just giving me a black outline and the kind of sus at the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and save that. I've got it now in my images. It's there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select I'm back on my canvas. I'm going to select upload again, select from photo library, select my image. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the remove tool. I'm going to select all of the white, then I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to click on the black also. So now I've gotten rid of that black outline. You can see that it's gone everywhere. This time what I'm wanting to do is I'm just wanting to keep the red pieces. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here, I'm going to erase this white, I'm going to erase this blue, I'm going to erase this darker kind of bluish gray. I can continue to zoom in and if I touch those you can see that it continues to delete more of them. Sometimes it'll grab just the pixel that you're touching. So this is when our eraser tool comes in handy. So now I've got it at a pretty good spot. If you look here, most of what's left is the red. It looks black on here, but it's red on this image. So now I'm going to use my eraser tool. I'm going to make it smaller because I don't need it to be gigantic. And then I can just come in and I can erase all of this. And then I can zoom in and come in and erase these little pieces here. So I can go in and I can do all of this. If you look, you can see how much is left here. I can also try just hitting next and you can see how much it's already been cleaned up. We've got these places, but not very many. So if I hit despeckle, I can slide this up or down and it deletes more or less of them. So like if you go all the way back down, it leaves those lines. If I kick it up just a little bit, then my lines get a lot smoother. I want it just to be whatever I need it to be at for it to get rid of all of those lines. So now when I click on it, I have none of those inner little, like those little pixely lines. And then I can hit smooth once and tap smooth. And you can see it cleaned up the inside of my little like mask area there. So now I can hit next. I want to save this again as a cut image. I'm going to save this as kind of sus2 and go ahead and hit save. 
and you can see I've got both those images now. I've got these two pieces here. So now I'm gonna go to ahead and click, hit close again. I'm gonna hit upload, choose photo from library, pick that same image again. And now we're going to get rid of any everything except for the darker blue or kind of grayish color there. So we're gonna go ahead and click here, click here, click here, click on the black, and then click on the blue and the white. And then you can grab your eraser tool. This time I can leave it a little bit bigger because I'm just erasing a ton. And then we'll just go ahead and clean this up as much as we can. Make it look nice and clean. Leave just a little bit for the despeckle and smooth tools to take care of. So you can see, I feel like this, these steps right here are things that you can do on the computer and stuff with no problem. The things that are available in um, iPhone that aren't available on the computer are the Despeckle and Smooth. So you can see already, like, look how great that looks. I don't even need to hit either of those. I'm going to go ahead and select next. Just keep it as a cut image. Then I'm going to change this one, name this one kind of sus three, save. And we've just got two more pieces left. So we've got three pieces. Now I'm just going to go up here. I'm going to hit upload, select from photo library, pick that image again. Now we're going to do everything except for our lighter blue. So I'm going to hit remove, get rid of the white, get rid of the reds, get rid of the black, and then get rid of that grayish color. I'm going to go ahead and leave the white because I can just put the white over the top of the blue when I cut it all out. So then I don't have to worry about them being like exactly the same size. They'll just fit together well. Zoom out so I can erase all of this. Try to get in there nice and close. All right. Okay. So if I click here, you can see there's a little bit left. I don't think that's going to be a very big deal on the next screen. If I hit next, you can see it's already taken care of all of that for me. So we'll change this one to kind of sus four. And then we're down to just one more piece. We'll go ahead and hit upload, select from library, pick that image again. And this time we're getting rid of everything except for that white piece in the like mask thing. I think that's what it is. I really have no idea. Grab my eraser. Actually, no, let's keep it remove. We'll get rid of the blue and the gray. Now we'll get the eraser and we'll just go ahead and erase everything except for the white because that is all I need this time. And I do like when I'm using the eraser, I like to not erase the entire thing at once. Like I try not to go crazy because if I like accidentally were to bump into the white and have to go back, then I'd have to undo everything again. So by doing it in just a couple of batches makes it so that I'm not undoing as much. So you can see here, it's just that little white part. Our edges are a little jagged until we go ahead and hit next. And then you can see they look nice and smooth. It looks great. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. We'll change this one to kind of sus five. I think that's where we're at and hit save. So now to make my project, I need to find each of these pieces. So I've got, let's make sure we can go. So I can come down here. So if you're starting from nowhere, I can hit upload. I can select from my, or open an uploaded image. And then I've got my outline. I've got my, so this is my black, my red, my gray, my blue, and my white. So they all look like they're not the same size, but watch what happens when I go ahead and hit insert. Maybe insert those. Well, let's see if we can get those to insert. Again, open. Oh, thank you. Let's try this again. New project, upload, open uploaded images. So we've got black, red, gray, blue, white. Go ahead and select those. So they're all here kind of randomly, but you can see that they've kept their sizes correctly, right? We're great. So that's my black layer. I can select this. I can come down to edit my cut. I can change that to red. So now I can just take this and set it on top. 
of that part of my image. Now I can take my gray image here, select my color, change it to gray, hit apply. I'm going to zoom in, make this easier for us to be able to see. So now I can have that there and I'll show you why I'm doing this. We're going to take this color, we're going to change it to our light blue, hit apply. I can set that right on top. And now I can grab, click up here, grab this one, select that, change it to white, hit apply. Ooh, I'm going to go ahead and undo that because I do not want to change the size. And I can move it. Okay, so that one, for whatever reason, is at the back. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to select that one and do arrange and I'm going to send that one to the front. So now I can take that. Nope. I'm going to zoom in so I can see better what I'm doing there. Now we've selected this. Move it. Set it on top of here, wherever you want it to go. Move that one back. Now once I have it where I think I want it, I think I want it a little more forward. And you can like make it bigger, smaller, whatever you want to do there. Move my blue back onto my gray there. And I want to move that just over to the side. Nope, not the gray. Just the white over a little bit. So this is where, it's so funny, like the different tools that we prefer to have. I would do all of this on my computer because it's so much easier to grab things and move them. But there we go. Now we've got that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select those because that's just, while it's different, it's one piece. I'm going to come down here to Actions. And I am going to group them. That keeps everything the same color. But now when I move it, it moves it all together. So now I can take this and move it and place it right here. Oops. Move that back so I can move my red where I want it to be. So it's got kind of a similar outline all the way around. And I move that one. Oh, excuse me. And there we go. So now when I hit my layers panel, you can see that we have our black outline that says kind of sus. So that will cut out. Then we can cut out the red and set it on top, then the gray and the blue and the white and set all of those pieces on top to end up with our final image that we started with that has the multiple colors. And this way that you can cut them each out individually. I hope this was helpful and remember, that just because you can do this with Design Space does not mean that you should. Don't steal other people's images. There are copyrights and things that you can get in trouble with taking, but this was just a simple image for me to use to be able to show you how to do it. This is a great way to take your own pictures or your own images and be able to upload them into Design Space. Have a great day. Let us know if you have any questions and follow along for more Cricut tutorials. Bye.